Hey, thanks for coming along with me and hanging out on this Tuesday, March 5th, overcast day here in Portland, Oregon. Today I'm headed to 82nd Street to a place called Big Boys Trucks. It's a brand new account, so let's go check it out. On the way over to the job site, I, uh, I passed this U-Haul, and uh, there's something really unique about this particular U-Haul center. Does anybody know? It's located on Foster Avenue in Portland, Oregon, 88th and Foster. And um, I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, the answer is, it is the retail birthplace of U-Haul. <laughs> little trivia on this Tuesday, March 5th. Well, this is 82nd Street, and uh, I've done a few businesses here for sure up and down here over the last 30 years and get a shot of this place over here this is a place I did probably a maybe a year or two ago it's still holding up good all right here it is oh it's a small looks like a small job all right well let's check it out the manager's name is Mike, and uh, looks like he's not here yet. So I'm gonna, I'll stop back. I think I will. Uh, my bank is right near here, and I need to deposit a check. I got a check from Santiam Bike, so I'm gonna go ahead and deposit that, and then I'll stop back. All right, I'm back here at uh, Big Boy's Trucks, and uh, I wonder if this is Mike over here. I don't know. Hi, are you Mike? No, Mike's not here yet. Oh, okay. Well, since I'm waiting, maybe I'll do a little sketch for you. So, I was thinking of doing a like a bird laughing, a laughing bird. <laughs> That'd be fun. Do a little beak and then his head kind of tilted back. Maybe I'll make his eyeballs sort of popping out too. Like just popping out of his head. Like he's looking at something. <laughs> That's pretty weird. He's like, whoa, what is that? Maybe make his tongue hanging out. And some crazy hair or crazy leaves. Not leaves, <laughs> not hair, feathers. <laughs> What do you think he's looking at, anyway? Probably some chick. <laughs> he's a cuckoo bird. I don't know if I'd be painting this on a window though. It's not your typical spring bird. But it's kind of a cool character. An eye popping bird. <laughs> All right. It's a good way to kill the time. 
Might as well do another one while I'm waiting. Hey, are you Mike? I am. All right. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Traffic is horrible. Oh, that's okay. I was just sketching. What's up? It's a really simple, easy window on this side. It's just going to say financing available. And then over here, we decided to do a character, just a guy, and he'll be saying free month, 3,000 mile in a word balloon warranty. And then smaller on most cars, or on all cars. This job is perfect to have my blow dryer on because it's so small. And I'm gonna have to probably do three coats on this stuff. It might cover in two, but the paint was, paint was beating up a little bit. So we'll see what it does. Yeah, you could do this on your own, you know, come the holidays. I don't know if I want to do that. I just like to learn things. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So you like, can get freehand? Yeah, I just draw it out really quickly. Thanks. Just something to attract attention, you know. So this, uh, it's a little bit spotty still, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a third coat. It's so small anyway, so it's no big deal. But now you can see after the third coat, it's super opaque, super white. Just doing a standard blend, but this time I'm using a four inch roller instead of the seven inch, I'm just doing the edge. Yeah, with a job this size, you got, um, with this type of weather here, it's really great to have this thing because you're jumping back and forth. And then especially too, because the paint beat it up on this one, so I had to do three coats here, but you can see after three coats, it's working well. So I can take this and finish it up. So I'm doing something a little bit different on this window because it beat it up and I had to do three coats of white. What I did is I cut the edge with the razor and made it really tight. I usually don't do that because after I do the color, I just trap it in black. But I'm gonna do something different this time because I don't wanna just trap it in black and have the black go into the window because it'll beat up again. So what I'm gonna do is go inside like this and I don't have to worry about the black beating up. And I'm gonna do the same with the character too after I lay the colors in. So here when I do the character, I bring it in, like so, and it leaves the white around it. And it makes it look really cool too, actually. I might start doing it more often. Now I'm using this blue here because it's the opposite of the orangish yellow blend I'm doing on the other side. And it's pretty. <laughs> Isn't that 
Rigoberto? Is that his name? He say that, but I think it's Jonathan. No. He was like, you boy. Johnny, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like him, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> People like to say, oh, that's Joe or that's Johnny. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing characters. It's funny. finished. This will probably catch people's eye. They're driving by. The traffic slows down here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll help. All right, I'm all finished up. Hey, thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. I hope you come back tomorrow and see what I'm up to. All right, have a great night. Bye.